today is a big day. We are meeting the inspector for the city of Tacoma to sign off on the beam installation. So you are gonna get the first peek of what the house looks like without having those two walls that separate the living room, the kitchen, and the dining. So I cannot wait for you to see it. imagine hopefully you can now this is a reminder this is where the sink is going to be the dishwasher is going to be on the left hand side you're going to turn this is going to be the stove the the gas stove and then also the refrigerator behind me over here is the island <laughs> this is I'm, yeah i definitely shouldn't touch it probably the old uh, the oil line because uh, the house has an oil furnace that does not work right now, unfortunately. Uh, so we are here with Justin. He is an inspector for the city of Tacoma. Hey, how you doing? And we're doing the final inspection for the framing now that the beam has been installed. As we're going through this, what are some things that, that you're looking for? Well, just a simple little thing. When you're doing these kind of older buildings, we have our two by four walls, which nowadays in new construction, you're going for two by six generally. But one thing you want to look at is just in a situation like this, to make sure you have continuance for your framing to transfer the load. That's something that we're gonna have to address once we get down to it, is carrying the load all the way down to here. Right now with it being interrupted like that, there's several ways we can do it. But yeah, it's super easy for contractors. All they have to do, just take these guys off and this one's about to go. Okay. Just take them off and uh, put new ones. Another thing too with existing plumbing, you'll want to make sure you have these little nail plates so we're putting drywall on. It doesn't pierce the plumbing, which unfortunately happens quite often. Really important thing too is once electrical finishes their thing, that all the penetrations going through the top plates and bottom plates get fire foamed. I mean, we do that to make sure that if a fire is on the bottom, it doesn't jump up into the walls. We need to figure out this area's bearing area right here. You can go up, I believe, to 60% of your depth you can cut out, right? But this is about 80% right here. So in theory, if any of the studs were gonna fail, this guy would fail. And also with your top plates right here where you're transferring your load down through everything, mm -hmm. all you need is some stud, not a stud shoe, it's a Simpson, it's like a thicker bracket that actually transfers the weight. Mm -hmm. So you'd be okay with that. So we'll wanna do this after electrical passes and okay. you schedule your, uh, your framing. This guy's gonna be fine. Pretty much this is gonna be your bathroom fan right here. Every bathroom and laundry room needs, I think it's a 50 CFM fan minimum. Cause uh, especially in these older houses, the condensation gets in and it just starts rotting. You know, us being the wettest climate out here. Originally, they didn't, if they didn't build it with any insulation in the walls, right? No. So it's a bit more forgiving if you took a shower, all the windows, the doors were closed, you know, because it was yeah. a little bit more breathable. Yeah. But now it's going to be fully insulated. So if you don't have a fan, yep. it's going to be no bueno. Yes, very, very bad. That is one of the new beams, yes. So that's good. Depending on the plans calling for, so it's going to transfer the load from the beam all the way down, which eventually will go down to the foundation. To make sure that basically the, the frame, the, uh, you know, things didn't start falling down in 20 yeah. years, we needed to reinforce the structure. Um, and so in our engineering plans, I think now it's like 150%, it'll carry, you know, more than enough. Yeah, um, in theory. In theory, yeah. So we're, we're more than covered. This post is new right here when I first showed up. Pretty much we need to add a new uh, post up here for a column and, and carrying the load. And this was just pretty much a big hole, four by four in, into the uh, footing, which transfers its weight all the way down through our established slab here. This is just going to stay like this for now. I mean, this basement is going to remain unfinished for at least a couple of years. Yep, there she be. Awesome. Notice that we have a spare heater uh, <laughs> because the furnace unfortunately is not working. We've had some delays with the install of our gas meter. Um, so anyways, that's the big to do right now is making sure that we have a heat source in the house while, you know, now that we're gonna soon start to do drywall repair and whatnot. Okay. You know, I can see this beam up here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Pretty much just an LVL right there. If you were to follow the load path, we're going from here, 
looks like we're heading up around this way right here. Your, your rough end plumbing is already passed. Mm -hmm. We just want to verify the water lines once they finish running those, which is totally okay. But yeah, as soon as electrical says this is okay, that your rough end passes, you can cover this guy up and you can do whatever up there. Right. You guys are definitely on pace for you know, finishing a good, good time. If you had to give uh, somebody like me, uh, somebody who's remodeling their house advice, what would be on, on all things remodeling and permitting, what would you, what would your advice be? I have to say the most important thing is like, A, make sure your contractor's good. Yeah. Uh, licensed, bonded, all that stuff. Uh, make sure when you go into the city to put your plan in there, that you're totally honest with the things you're running into. Yeah. Because otherwise, let's say a field inspector comes out and they go, wait, what's going on here? And if it wasn't on the plan, then that's going to set you back like a month. Because yeah. if you have to go through actual field revisions through an engineer and through the city, I mean, you're adding possibly a month to your, to your, your plan, which yeah. is terrible. It's huge. Uh, and that's the big one, and just make sure all the work you do is permitted. Yeah. That's a really big one, too. It's a good deal. Yeah. And you can verify that on the Tacoma website. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Good deal. Yeah, it's. Generally, we try to make it as painless as possible.